What's going on everybody and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and we got some big news today. This story broke pretty recently today. Uh, Guns N' Roses have threatened a hardcore fan or a super fan with a lawsuit over music that he has leaked. So this story has been going on for several months dating back to late last year. And uh, basically here's what happened if you guys aren't familiar with the story. So there's a Guns N' Roses fan named Rick Dunsford. So what happened was there was a storage unit that was owned by a former Geffen Records employee. You guys are maybe familiar with him. His name's Tom Zutat. He was the guy who discovered Guns N' Roses and signed them to Geffen Records. He was also portrayed in the Molly Crew movie, uh, The Dirt. He was the guy who found Molly Crew as well as several other high profile bands. So what happened was there was an, a storage locker that Tom Zutat owned. Uh, he was working on Chinese democracy from 2000 to 2001 or so, and he apparently left all these unfinished recordings in the storage locker. Some had vocal tracks on them, some were unfinished recordings, instrumental, some were just strictly guitar parts or drum instrumentals and stuff too. And apparently some music executive auctioned off the storage locker with the contents, including those recordings, which supposedly belonged so to Guns N' Roses. So contained in those storage lockers were about 97 previously unreleased songs, uh, which eventually made their way online after Rick Dunsford obtained the recordings from a storage unit auction. And Universal Music Group, which owns the copyrights, threatened to sue him for a lot of money. So according to TMZ, a Universal's legal team sent him a cease and desist letter, and it was soon obtained by TMZ, claiming that Dunsford violated an earlier settlement agreement in which Universal Music paid him $15,000 to return the recordings. Now Dunsford, for his part, claims he and some, fellow, uh, some other fellow fans bought the music from the storage locker for about $15,000. Now they say we're told the band's management later caught wind of the transaction and agreed to pay Rick $15,000 to sell the music back to them. Now the problem is arising due to the fact that Universal Music claims that Rick started to leak the songs a month after he got the $15,000 payout and now Universal is threatening him with legal action. Now Rick claims someone else is leaking the tunes and he says he told Guns N' Roses management about the leaks from the start. To make matters worse for Rick, Rick's been issued a lifetime ban from Guns N' Roses shows. So TMZ reached out to the reps for Guns N' Roses and they had actually gotten a statement back. So a rep for Guns N' Roses told TMZ, it is tremendously disappointing, sad and unfortunate that a record executive involved with the band in their early years found it appropriate to auction off the unreleased materials owned by his former employee. So Dunsford's done some interviews too around the time that this broke. So he talked about how he actually got his hands on the storage lockers. So he called in to the radio show uh, with hosts Greg Dwyer and Bill Michaels this past October and said about two and a half months ago I drove to Virginia there was a storage locker that belonged to Tom Zutat. He went to say he didn't pay his bills or something and it was auctioned off. That individual that bought the locker, there was about 20 CDs in the locker of unreleased Guns N' Roses music from around 99 to 2000 or 2001. Now he go on to say, I know the seller that I bought them from was continuing to sell to other individuals and there was a massive leak. So pretty much I've been blamed for this. So if you guys remember a couple months back, video surfaced of Rick going to a Guns N' Roses show. He talked about going to the show, I think it was his 34th show or so. And security basically met him at the front of the venue and said, you know, if you show up again to a Guns N' Roses gig, you'll be arrested. And that kind of kickstarted this whole thing. And I was following this whole story while I was going on late last year. I mean, I think his biggest mistake was going on the Guns N' Roses forums and bragging that he was going to get the contents of the storage lockers and updating the uh, the fan forums about where he was at with everything. So, you know, if you're Guns N' Roses management, it was pretty easy to track the whole thing. And uh, some of the songs that were leaking were, you know, fully finished songs with vocals and everything that just never made their way onto Chinese Democracy. Other songs were alternate versions of the songs you heard on Chinese Democracy. And some songs, like I said, were just instrumental tracks or just like little tidbits of tracks that were probably explored in the studio, but nothing ended up happening with them. Now, some people are thinking that maybe the reason Universal is threatening a lawsuit is because there's been all these rumors that Guns N' Roses may record a new record. And some of those recordings that could show up on that record could be some of the songs that were left over from the Chinese Democracy sessions. So... We'll have to wait and see, but we'll update you guys as the story breaks. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time with our next news video. Take care.